Hi, in this video, we are going to solve our next Python challenge, which is if else. Here we have to perform an action, which is conditional. So we have been provided an input called n and we have to check whether that input is odd or even. And based on the, some conditions, we have to print something like if that is odd, we have to print weird if it is even and within the inclusive range of two to five, we have to print not weird and similarly. So let's come to uh, the code sections and here it is. The n is our input which is typecasted to integer. So it is always an integer. So the first thing is we will check whether this number is even or odd. So n% 2 is equal to is equal to 0 else we will say that is odd block. So but when that is odd we have to print something and that is this keyword. So let's copy this one and paste it. So we will say print. Now, if that is even and in the inclusive range of 2 to 5, it means we have a condition inside the condition. Okay. And inclusive means this number should be greater than equal to 2 and less than equal to 5. So let's make a nested condition over here. So we will say something like if that number is greater than equal to 2 and that number is less than equal to that then we have to print something and similarly if that number is greater than 6 and it is less than equal to 20 we have different statements and there is one more conditions like we have multiple conditions so here we are we will use elif and similarly if there is one more condition here we will say if n is greater than 20 and now let's take what do we need to actually print so here if that is between 2 to 5 we will say not weird so copy paste in this case we have to print weird and that is, if that is greater than 20 we have to say not weird so now just try to run this code and let's see whether it is getting passed or failed so we have passed the sample test cases now let's try to refactor this one because this print statement is being duplicated so what we can do is we, we can exclude that part and put this condition here itself this is the first condition so we will put this into this statement or we will say something like this part and we can directly remove that I have already created a video on, about the logical operators which you can go through that what is or or and operators like so and it's something like it checks for both the conditions both the conditions should be true and or it's something like either of the condition is true then it returns true so now just try to run this code so now again we have passed the sample test cases finally submit that code and we have passed all the test cases so thank you for watching this video in the next video i'll tell you how to solve the next challenge till then stay tuned and if you have any doubt then please let me know in the comment section